Hello community, I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see how to inherit few web templates. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to use the dash attf test, click check link is given in the description. If you want to learn more about Odoo with different topics, you can visit the playlist. Under the playlist, you can see all the development level is here. Under this one, you can see list of different topic wise playlists available with real test tests. And if you need any help, you can visit the about page and send your query to this email address. And some code also available in the GitHub. We have some social media pages. Make sure you can follow. And please don't forget to subscribe this channel to get the latest notification. So let's back to our main topic like how to inherit the exist existing few web template. So for that, like let me go to here in the Udo training custom add-ons. This is our new module to generate a pdf file right and here you can see we created a different template right now let's say you want to generate or let's say you want to override the existing qf template right that is also possible so let's say here i want to extend this sub student template right in another module or in the same module that is also possible like let's say I'll copy this one at the end or let's say I'm going to create a new XML file inherit qweb template.xml and now I will paste here this id right now what i will do is so we have to use this one as a inherit underscore id and the actual id name which is which means this one and here we have to provide our new name sorry not this one so let's say here i'm giving the name as a extend something like this so say this should be always unique in this database right and then after we have to use here xpath if you remember the xpath see a discussion i already explained what is xpath how to inherit using the xpath right with different ways so here you can also apply the same thing here so i'm not trying to repeat the session here right so we can use like xpath expr equal to here we have to provide the expression and the position i want to replace this div tag right so for that like we have to use something like this div then after in a main bracket has class and page right and we have to replace this one and here we will add in template so let me add simple method and i'm trying to upgrade the module right let me upgrade from the backend side if you don't know how to configure Odoo with Python, i've already explained please check the editor level playlist so let me upgrade the module oh sorry so before upgrade the module we must have to register under here otherwise it won't be work all right so let me upgrade the module one more time and trying to refresh the page sorry i'm going to student profile Sitaraman and I'm trying to click to this report and now you can see I am extending my existing template right so other templates the sub templates also stop to calling why because we replace the main due tag and under this due tag whatever it is there it will replace here so you can also add or extend the template based on your requirement so like this way you can 
inherit the QF template. So make sure here it's a template, right? There is no changes. ID, there is no changes. Only the one thing is extra attribute we have to use inherit underscore ID. You can see right now I'm using in the same module, right? So that's the reason I'm not giving here the module name. Let's say this file is available in dynamic view or in this modules, right? So you have to compulsory add this module name. So let's say here dot and I'm trying to upgrade one more time. So going back to the student profile and I'm trying to click to the student card. Now you can see it's still available, right? So make sure like you have to provide module name dot the actual ID name. Let's say this ID is not exist in this module, right? So what happened? It will throw the exception in the backend side. I mean, while upgrade the module, you can see here. External ID. This one is not available, right? So also make sure. To add the correct XML ID and let me restart the service I'm going back to here in the front end side and I'm trying to reframe all right so this is all about the inheritance concept in the QF template right if you have any doubt please comment below and see you in next session